Hello, brilliant 3D jewelry channel. Today, I'm going to show how to customize the faceted bezels for all the gemstone shapes using the almighty asset. Um, so let's go to file, append, go to the almighty 3D settings, asset, and we're going to append the Asher bezel for faceted gemstones, five variants. Here it is. Now file, append, go to object, bring the gemstone, gemstone Asher faceted. Here it is. Save as a new file customizing bezels for faceted gemstones save new file remember everything is overlapping so start removing from viewport and we'll stay with the conical bezel and profile this bezel is for faceted gemstones because because it has support and exact space for the faceted gemstones remember that the asset also has all the bezels for the cabochon gemstones the cut is very different obviously so use the adequate bezel for each type of stone now also remember that these two spheres here in the middle are from the milgrand hierarchy so if you want to hide them you need to open the milgrand hierarchy and hide that sphere but never delete it good now this bezel is a curve with mirrors and works with this profile so select the profile you can move it anywhere you want and go to edit mode now you can change the shape as required for your jewelry design here i might subdivide a couple of times and maybe also i want to change the curve type you can go to bezier instead of poly and make a smoother design then you need to change here v menu to change the handle type you can go to aligned and now you're working a smooth bezier curve all right the original type for the profile is a poly curve which is more precise but not as smooth start customizing maybe i want something thinner at the bottom these are vector control points that's why they are sharp then here maybe i want the bezel to go to the outside here, that's how you customize the shape of the bezel for any type of bezel for the faceted gemstones. So the asset already has five shapes, always with the name of the bezel and the name of the profile here. And you can start from the one you prefer. This one is straight. This one, for example, is more for tennis bracelets. Now here, by example, maybe I want to scale the gemstone. So let's select the gemstone. Let's put it at 20 millimeters, two centimeters, copy paste the scale on the Z axis. Now select the bezel you want to use, make a shift S, cursor to select it, go to edit mode, select everything with A, go to 3D cursor, transform pivot point and scale. So let's bring it here, close to the support for the faceted gemstone. Now select the profile, bring it here, go to edit mode, go back to median point, pivot point, Select everything with A in edit mode, scale and readapt to the new size of the gemstone. Then obviously you can customize everything you need. Maybe you want to make a boolean on this bezel, give it the height you need. Exit edit mode, create the object you want for a boolean. Now remember, many bezels are curves. It's much easier for editing the shapes and sizes. So make a shift D, a copy of the original bezel, hide the original, go to object, convert to mesh, go to modifier boolean, solver fast, and remove the ring size by example to use this bezel on a ring. Now let's work with the other shapes of file, append them. Asset collection. Um, let's bring the cushion bezel for faceted gemstones. Here it is. Um, hide everything and just show what you need. Here we have this thick profile. Now let's go to file append, go to object, bring the cushion faceted gemstone, save and be happy. Select the profile, go to edit mode. Here I'm going to subdivide a couple of times. I'm going to make some grooves here and there. So we can see that customizing is very easy and very fast. You're going to love this asset. Now I'm going to customize the Milgram for decorations. I need the path. So select the path, do shift S cursor to select it, go to edit mode, select everything, work from the 3D cursor, pivot point, scale and place the Milgram wherever you need it. Here, I want contact with the gold, obviously. Now select the Milgram, go to the modifiers and adapt the count and distance as needed. Now don't forget that you can use the asset world setting environment 
to make a render preview. So let's go to the asset, append the world, go to world, set it to the world we've just appended and render preview. Now here, let's get inspired and create a pendant design with this. Top view, add curve, busy curve, go to edit mode, zero on the X axis, create this shape, exit edit mode, resolution 45, control A, all transforms, mirror on the X axis, add curve, busy circle, scale here, create this shape now take the previous shape go to bevel object select the profile we just created here tweak the merging distance here adapt the radius and adapt the position tweak the tilt so the tip closes material gold tweak the scale tweak the position now select everything make a copy center the 3d cursor scale select everything we adapt the position Tweak the details, exit edit mode, seven be happy, make a shift D to copy this, hide the original, convert this to mesh, make a mirror based on the central gemstone, check the axis, make a shift D, rotate, check the position, shift D, minus 90 degrees, zero on Y, readapt the position, render preview. This is how you create a very nice pendant using the almighty settings asset. Now let's work with the other shapes, file, append, collection. The next shape is the emerald faceted bezel. Let's bring the gemstone, append, object, gemstone, emerald faceted, hide everything. Bring the bezel you like, here the straight one. Select the profile, go to edit mode. Here I'm going to subdivide a couple of times like this. I'm going to make levels. Now here on the inside, I'm going to divide here and there. Here I'm going to delete these vertices, just going to keep this to make the interior hollow. So the interior looks really great. Exit edit mode. Now let's bring the milligram here. Take the path, shift S, cursor to selected. Go to edit mode, work from the 3D cursor, pivot point, scale. Here we need to adapt the position of the control points. Adapt the details of the path any way you want. Tweak the count and distance as needed you can be very precise here so you get a perfect overlap now here i want to duplicate the milgram select the milgram and the sphere in the hierarchy and do a shift d on the z-axis like this now the path duplicate the path also for the second milgram curve modifier assign the new path right there now you can tweak the scale of the new milgram Adapt the count and distance, render preview. Here we have a new customized bezel for the emerald faceted gemstone. Save and be happy. Now let's bring the next shape, the heart bezel for faceted gemstone and the heart gemstone. Let's create something new. Let's move and rotate the bezel in the gem like this. Let's add an empty axis right there at the center. Now let's convert the bezel to mesh. Do control A, all transforms. Add a modifier array from the empty offset. Take the empty, start rotating the empty, maybe 60 degrees, maybe 45 degrees. Count eight. Take the gemstone, control A, all transforms. Array, count eight from the empty axis. Here we are. Now here, let's add mesh plane to the center. Go to edit mode, merge at center. Extrude on the Y axis there. Adapt the position, subdivide a couple of times, side view, let's make a slight dome like this. Add modifier, screw, adapt the resolution, add modifier, solidify, thickness, one, shade, auto smooth, material, gold, tweak as needed, take the gemstones, make a copy on the z-axis, remove the array modifier, go to edit mode. Take the gem, take this part of the girdle, control I, delete the rest, A, scale on the Z axis to zero, do an F, scale, add modifier, subdivision surface, simple, level four, add modifier, shrink wrap to the dome, do a project shrink wrap on the Z axis, negative, like this. Now convert to mesh, go to edit mode, extrude, control I, extrude on the inside also. 
Control A, all transforms. Add modifier array. Count eight. Offset from the empty. Take the dome. Add modifier. Boolean difference passed from the hearts. Check the result. We're all good. Top view. Add curve. Bezier curve. Resolution 45. Geometry depth 0.4. Resolution 20. Film caps. Material gold. Control A. All transforms. Add modifier array. Count 8 from the empty. Go to edit mode. Turn on the snap face project. Snap with center. Move and rotate. Turn on the snap. Adapt this. Now create a new vertex. Keep adding curves and tweak the details. Exit edit mode. Render preview. Here we have a new customized design using the hard bezel for faceted gemstones. Now the next shape is the Marquise bezel for faceted gemstones. I'm going to use the double border conical and profile. So let's select the profile. Let's go to edit mode. Here I'm going to subdivide a couple of times. Now I'm going to take these elements out to create ridges on the bezel, something like this. If you want, you can select these extremities, scale on the x-axis to zero, take the shear tool to make a perfect progression like this. Exit edit mode, save and be happy. Now let's create a ring. From view, add mesh, circle, vertices 320, radius 19, divided by 2. To the view, center, take the bezel and gem, make a copy, shift D, convert to mesh. Go up here, scale at 0.5, put exactly on the finger, hide what you don't need anymore, add an empty axis at the center, join the bezel and gemstone, add modifier, array from the empty. Do control A, all transforms, take the empty, start rotating on the Y axis, 20 degrees, select the bezel, count 360 degrees divided by 20. We have this. Now apply the array, rotate by minus 10 degrees, add mesh, sphere, material, gold, shade smooth. Come here, let's have a slight contact with the bezels. Take the finger size, go to edit mode, close it, extrude it. Here, take the sphere, go to edit mode, x-rays, extrude, scale. Here, exit edit mode, add modifier, boolean, from the finger size, hide the finger size. Select the sphere, convert to mesh, to control A, all transforms, add array modifier, count to 18, from the empty. Add modifier mirror on the y-axis. Render preview. We have an amazing design made using the Marquise bezel for faceted gemstones. Save and be happy. Now for the following shapes and the rest of the asset. The oval bezel for the faceted gemstone. The pear shape, the round shape, the square shape, and the trillion shape. We can see that we have two exceptions. The round and the square, they have no profile here. You need to go to edit mode and you will find a profile directly in the solid shape. That's the same for the five variants of the bezel for the faceted round gemstone. And that's because this round shape is using the screw modifier to create the solid from the profile on the inside. So if you want to personalize this, go to edit mode on the solid, start customizing what you need and you will be just fine. Now for the square, the, the square has a profile, but on the diagonal corner. So here we need to make one step more. Do a Shift S cursor to selected. Go to edit mode, work from the 3D cursor, have everything selected, rotate the 45 degrees, and now go to the front view. Here, do your customization as always. Create and adapt what you need. Now select everything again, go to top view and roll back minus 45 degrees and you get your perfect customization. Now for the rest of the bezels for the faceted gemstones, it's the same in the entire asset. You have the profile curve, edit the profile curve as needed, customize what you need. This is for the oval thick 
bezel, the double bezel on the pier shape. Customize what you need. Remember that maybe you want to change the curve type to Bezier. Then here I want the automatic handle type so it becomes smooth. So change from poly curve to Bezier curve. So that's the pier shape. And last but not least, we have the trillion bezel for the faceted trillion gemstone. Also there you will have your profiles. So select the profile, start editing whatever you need and you get the perfect personalized bezel for the trillion faceted gemstone. Okay, now as a bonus track, we're going to make a design using all these shapes from the almighty 3D settings assets. So let's take gem and bezel convert to mesh let's make some earrings so let's take the pier shape let's rotate 90 degrees bring it here now let's take the square let's rotate minus 90 degrees front view rotate 45 degrees bring this here let's tweak the scale accordingly now let's take the oval now let's take the circle here we are and let's take the trillion okay so this one also slightly bigger now save and be happy add mesh torus 60 30 radius 0.35 to the view a bit smaller center it let's make gold closer to the front tweak the details adapt the distance copy on the z-axis rotate on the z-axis 90 degrees check the transparency tweak the placement we need this one to be a bit bigger let's tweak this so now we can group this sequence and start placing each part accordingly let's copy this on the z-axis check the placement exactly here we're using a very classical link now something important about the milgrain most milgrain in the asset are instances so we need to do Control a make instances real now join them here all the spheres are now one this is one milgrain the milgrain on the square is already a mesh that's one of the rare exception let's select the earring let's make a copy shift d on the x-axis save and be happy now render preview fancy earrings design made with the almighty 3d jewelry settings asset i hope you enjoyed this tutorial there are more to come have a nice day take care and see you soon